Hi good morning everyone let's get started with the next topic for this training which is SPDD so basically we will be seeing in this particular section that is the different SAP standard objects especially things like whenever we are performing an upgrade we come across these four different types of changes basically what we call them as customizing that is setting of system parameters which is obligatory or optional so this customizing it can happen from the new development which is taking place in the client's environment say for example in the client's environment there are new codes need to be prepared new enhancements need to be done new modifications which need to be done which has not come as part of sap standard so the new development need to be written new code need to be written new programs need to be written so that is the development that is own application then we have advanced corrections that is software changes in regard to a later upgrade modifications that is changes to sap software try to minimize because of try to minimize this because it requires intensive maintenance so when we are doing any modifications we need to ma make sure that we are not touching sap standard objects as much as possible because if we modify any of the sap standard objects we need to take care of them during our upgrade so any upgrade we need to see what we want to do those modifications do we not do we need to keep it do we need to uh, apply the new standards which has come along with the new version okay the next thing is enhancement that is use of prepared user exits or baddies for system enhancements so here we are seeing four different types of activities one thing is the z programs basically the programs which have been developed to enhance the sap software which has come second is the advanced corrections third is the modifications basically the modification to customer uh, to specify that is we are modifying the sap supplied objects the standard sap objects which is supplied then lastly is the enhancements that is baddies for software enhancement so we need to take care of all these four things okay customizing here we are seeing the type of sap system changes that is involved customizing basically it involves setting system business parameter using special customizing transactions changes are scheduled and organized in advance customizing is mandatory because before you can use your system in a live environment we need to make some changes then only it will be usable so just make sure that you are not confused with rz10 based customizing changes this customizing it refers to tuning or making changes in the sap program configuring the parameters so that the sap product is usable and suited for the organization which is using it customer developments basically creation of customer specific objects according to the naming convention enhancements customer changes to sap repository without the need for modifications modifications it's basically a customer specific changes to sap repository objects when sap objects are changed the customer version has to be modified to match the new version advanced correction it's basically application of bug fixes for sap directly to the sap system so modifications basically what need to be adjusted manually implemented advanced correction in accordance with sap note adjustments of customers beyond customizing that is repair and customer transport so these are the three types so first type is you apply some notes in the system why do we apply notes to fix any small error small correction bug fix etc adjustments of customer beyond customizing that is you have done customizing but you may need to modify a sap supplied standard object so that is repair 
then is the customer transport so basically the customer transport is something which will have the naming convention of SID SID is like a customer identification numbers if for example in your landscape you have your dev system which has the SID say DE1 you have your QA system which is QE1 we have your production system which is PE1 so you can have any type of naming convention so D can indicate for dev, Q can indicate for your production, P can indicate your production system, Q is your quality system. So in that format you can have your SIDs created. No modifications that is advanced corrections with SAP transport will probably be part of the new release. Support package will be part of new release. Add-ons will be part of the new release. So just take note of these differences okay here you can see the system upgrade process you can see you have your ABAP dictionary import SPDD comparison there are some active and inactive objects here it's the main import which is taking place so all these three activities is happening during the active state of the system that is the system is up and running during this phase that is right from your dictionary import up to your SPDD comparison up to your main import so during this phase system is up and running and when the system is down you are importing then after that you are performing SPAU and finally the start of production so the start of production process involves the transfer of new data to the system from the CDs which is shipped by SAP and in today's environment you can straight away download those upgrade CDs. SAP repository objects are imported into the system and the customer objects are compared. All ABAP dictionary objects that have been modified by customers must be compared to the new SAP standard during the upgrade process. So to avoid loss of data and table fields that customer may have created, conflicting structures must be merged before the mass activation of ABAP dictionary object in the upgrade process. So say for example, what happens is that for the default program which is supplied by SAP, there are fields which doesn't meet customer's requirement and customer adds few fields to it. Okay, that field will have some data populated over a period of time. During an upgrade process, the upgrade product or upgrade will not have those fields. So we may need to look at merging those fields. We may need to decide what should we do for the new fields which have come in. So if objects need to be adjusted, we need to use the transaction say SPDD and SPAU depending on where we are and all modifications must be made by customers basically the modifications which have been made by customers are then merged with the new sap object version to retain data otherwise the new version will will be activated and there will be a data loss so by default if we don't execute any spdd transaction whatever modifications we have done to standard sap object will be lost and whatever data which is captured in those field those modifications will be lost so we have to make sure that we look at each and every sap standard object which is modified by the client and we decide what should we do for those modifications do we need to adopt those modifications do we need to adopt the sap supplied version that is override those modifications or do we need to merge the modifications which has come okay so here you can see this is showing how things are moving in this phase there is a file called umod auto.lst so the spdt and spau transport which is kept in this particular file so basically any transport which is kept in this file is executed during the main import phase. Okay, calculation of modified object to be listed. Basically it uses the two tables which is E070 and E071 
to find out and resolve any conflicts. So without modification adjustment, you would lo lose all modifications you made to object that conflict with SAP modifications when you upgrade the system. The modification adjustments lets you make your modifications to the appropriate new objects in the upgrade. So you can identify modifications as repairs to the SAP standard or as imports of a SAP objects. Request in the customer namespace, modify the SAP objects included in them. All other requests are dealt with as preliminary corrections. The list of objects that have to be adjusted in your system is determined in the adjust PRP phase of the upgrade. This phase is executed in the prepare mod module. So modification support and runs in the upgrade between the import of the substitution set and the end of the production period. So you must consult the authors of the modifications namespace in the umodprod.log where you can get background information on the changes made. So as we said that we have to make sure that we run SPDD. In SPDD we need to make a call that do we need to adapt the modifications which is done in customer environment. Do we need to override those modifications or do we need to merge the new functionality which has come and the modifications which have been made. So that decision making is done in SPDD phase. So here you can see the different activities which is involved in this. Okay, so basically the ABAP dictionary objects can be adjusted during productive downtime, productive time before the activation of the ABAP dictionary. So anything related with data dictionary can be imported, can be created during the phase where the system is live. Okay, SPDD transport, you don't have to release this transport because towards the end of the upgrade SAP up tool which exports this transport request into the transport directory. Actually the file directory name slash user slash SAP slash trans in Unix, it registers for the transport in the file umode auto.ls3. Repository objects which is basically the screens, the reports, etc. are adjusted towards the end of the upgrade during downtime. At this stage the import of SAP objects has already been completed. However, the old modified version is still available in the versions database. As with SAP dictionary object all adjustments are released to a transport request that is noted and then exported and registered by SAP up. Okay, here you can see the same thing basically what is taking place. So SPDD do not activate any object. We need to make sure that the client change option is enabled and it's basically telling that no transport into system manually. It is taken care automatically and SPAU basically it gives you 14 days for you to make any modifications to SAP supplied object after the upgrade is done for 14 days without getting a without key check. So SPDD is any request for automatic adjustment from the previous upgrade can be included in this upgrade. Do not import to do not attempt to import the adjustment manually and upgrade to less than 6.0 transaction SU01 doesn't work. Okay, so we need to make sure that we create a user or we can run this program to create a user and do not activate any object. Activation is carried out automatically after the adjustment. Okay, SPDD provides the following functionality that we saw within the Individual development classes or corrections, the objects are displayed according to type. To view a changed object selected with a double click, you will automatically see an overview of existing versions of the selected objects. Comparing old and new versions, okay, so we can compare the old and new versions. We can decide the type of maintenance. Using SE11, we can see what should we do for them and returning to SAP standard. Okay, so we can decide do we need to return to SAP standard or do we need to adapt the modifications. Marking objects as processed. So those objects will be marked as complete flag. And marking for transport that is select for transport function help you to adjust other SAP system. 
all right then that's what i wanted to cover in this particular training session thank you for joining and have a nice day bye bye